Hey there guys, welcome back to FlossTube episode number 27. My name is Liz, my company is Hello from Liz Matthews, and I am excited to spend some time with you today. It is June 17th, it's a Wednesday, and this is my first regular FlossTube video after about a week and a half. Now you have seen me, and you've seen my mom, because we've been doing what I have been calling special edition floss tube videos. So you saw a reveal video that I did alongside Kathy Barrick, who is my mom, and you also saw a giveaway video. So I want to touch on those and then we're just going to move into, you know, all of the kind of regular floss tube content that you guys like and know. So how have you been? What's been going on? It's been, it's been an intense couple weeks. I will say that I have been learning, listening, growing, feeling, all of the things. And throughout that, I have been really, really grateful for my stitching. And I hope that you guys are doing well and also have something good to stitch on. I will leave it at that. Um, in my reveal video, I shared two new pieces for what I called my mini release because as you know, I have a schedule of every other month doing a full release, which was May, and it will be again in July. But I had two pieces, let me grab them for you here, that I felt, you know, it's patriotic. I felt like you guys might want them in time for the 4th of July. So I decided to pair up with my mom, who also had three new releases ready to go, and put these out into the world. So we have the Stars and Stripes tree, and we have Birdie's Quilt Tree. These are both um, available now for your LNSs and um, online shops to order from me. They are not available in my shop yet. I like to show my support to other small businesses uh, at the beginning of all of my launches. So you'll probably find these in my shop within a month, but for now you can place your orders with your favorite shops. So. In that reveal video I did, I will link it in the description box below, I give you all the details and then some about both of these, but these are my summer trees. You guys know I do them for every season. Um, I've worked my way to summer and all I have left now is autumn. Um, so these are out. Let me show you what the packaging looks like because truth be told, I didn't have it ready at the last video, but they're sold individually. You have the Stars and Stripes tree and Birdie's Quilt tree, both bagged and perfect for kidding. They use the same color threads so you can combine. You're not having to buy a lot of threads there. And both of these, I will just say, are charted so that if you choose to stitch them in a rectangular kind of like sampler shape you can do that if if you look at that and think you know i'm not into a tree totally fine you don't have to do a tree let me show you real quick and then one other thing i'll tell you like see it's a it's a full like traditional rectangle there's also lines drawn on the tree patterns now to make the fabricating into a three-dimensional tree a little bit easier. So Birdie's Quilt Tree and Stars and Stripes Tree available now. They, um, there's just like a mini here you go launch because I am planning on doing another launch in July. So you have a lot coming to you from Hello from Liz Matthews and I can't stop. I can't stop stitching and I can't stop releasing. So I hope you like it. Uh, Mom also did share three new patterns with you. You can find them on her Instagram. Uh, they're not in her shop yet either because she, like me, chooses to support the brick and mortar and online shops at this time. So go back, watch that video. You'll see her new patterns. She's consistently amazing. Is she not? Like, I, I don't know where all the ideas come from. She is just, she's so good and her patterns this time did not disappoint. So get over there, check those out. Um, in addition to those two releases, I put out a charity chart. This is, let's see, let me get myself an order. This is something that I put in my Etsy shop as a PDF. I apologize, my printer is running out of ink, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this image and all of the information go up. 
it is a another kind of text chart and it says I have decided to stick with love which is part of a Martin Luther King quote that I really love it kind of resonates with me and describes how I choose to view the world how I approach things it's really it's a beautiful quote um, I believe the ending is I have decided to stick with love hate is too great a burden to bear so as you can imagine this is especially applicable to the time we are in right now and I have chosen to donate a hundred percent I did say originally the proceeds from the sale of this chart but I'm just making it 100% of the sales. I'm covering the rest um, of this $5 PDF download to Justice for George Floyd protest bail fund charities. So you guys came through, you loved it. I appreciate it so much. It's something that's really important to me and my family. So if this pattern spoke to you or if the cause spoke to you, I asked you to download it for $5 just a little bit goes a long way and because of your 65 purchases 65 on the head today as soon as I get off of this video I will be donating three hundred and twenty five dollars to charity thank you so so much this is a limited edition piece it will be up through the end of June for sure we'll see how long I carry it on but if it's something that you're interested in, please don't delay and snag that now. Again, my printer is not working well, but I've had two friends who actually completed the piece. Um, this one is from my friend Jenny, who is Vintage Picker, Vintage Pinker on Instagram. She stitched this for her daughter's classroom. I love that she changed it to include Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., his full name. Um, I'm always happy when you guys adapt my patterns to make them suit your taste. And then here we have another piece. This is stitched and finished by my friend Cindy. You guys know her on Instagram as Cindy Stitches. She is everywhere. She is also amazing. Such a talented stitcher. And she finished this and shared that picture. So I wanted to just pass along two finished, I'm sorry those pictures are so poor, images of the piece in case you are interested. Okay, so those are my new releases. And then there's the giveaway. There's the 3000 follower giveaway on my Instagram. I did a dedicated video to it. It is the last video on my channel previous to this. I will link it below. And in addition to having a 3000 subscriber giveaway here on FlossTube, I am also having an 8000 follower giveaway on Instagram because I hit those milestones simultaneously. So they're very similar giveaways that are hosted on each platform. Please go back, take a look at that video or find me on Instagram. It's hello from Liz Matthews um, and check out that giveaway and enter. I have had a couple questions about um, why it, the giveaway is only open to domestic shipping and that is because of shipping costs. I hope all of my international friends know how much I truly value you and appreciate you. If you have um, a buddy or a domestic shipping address, please, please enter. But just so you know, I am a, I'm a very small business. I just launched in January. So I'm working on very tight margins and unfortunately, shipping internationally is just not something I can afford right now. To give you an idea, um, I've had charts that I have had to ship overseas that cost $10 in shipping. Um, I don't feel comfortable going to the post office right now, so my at-home shipping program charges $10 for a chart. So you can only imagine how much these giveaways would cost. But please just know I truly, truly, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, and I thank you so much for being here. It really, really means so much to me. In regards to the giveaway, there are couple items included from some really fabulous maker friends of mine that I wanted to share in this video as well. Lisa from Stitchy Notions by Lisa contributed a bag and also a um, art book and she made one for me a while ago that I had been hoarding not wanting to show because her shop wasn't open at that point 
but I now get to show them off. Lisa did open her shop, linked in the description box, where you can get her amazing bags. And what I love the very most is this Oort book. She's offering free shipping right now, you guys. These are so nice, and who doesn't want free shipping? Now, last I checked, she did um, sell everything out of her shop. She was completely sold out, but she was about to have a couple days off work, and she was gonna make new things to put in the shop. So head over there now. It might actually be in there. Grab it for free shipping. This work book is amazing. It's um like, their structure to it. I love that I can fill this up with all my colors. Then when I'm ready to put my stitching away, fold it up, there's a little tie, stick it in my bag and go. And then it's just there for me as soon as I'm ready to get back to my stitching. So um, Lisa is so talented. Her bags are beautiful. And I do wanna tell you guys to head over there if you are in the market. Then um, my other friend, LaDonna from Sampling of Memories, I have gotten to meet LaDonna a couple times now. She is so wonderful and so kind. And I approached her about a month ago now, seeing if she maybe uh, wanted to create some products using my patterns. And we have since decided to work together. And I am so thrilled with how these turned out. So I'm just gonna show you real quick the four of my patterns that are available um, in LaDonna's Thread Keeps, Scissor Keeps, Necklace, zipper pool, needle minder, she's got it all. So there are four of my patterns that you can get in any one of those formats. And I just wanted to run through them real quick because they are so darn cute. Okay, so this is a loft. It has the little Eiffel Tower on there, of course. And then there it is. How sweet is this? I love this so much. And I love the like glass resin top. So there's a loft. There is, this is a scissor keep. This is, what are you? You're Charleston. So again, you have that glass top, you have the little button embellishment, and then a little flower charm. She always pairs up the charms with, um, you know, with the pattern. So there's a nice compliment. There's that one. And then these two are particularly fun because these are sows that are going on. So I will mention that um, in just a minute, but this is the red R sampler piece. There is a sow for the red R sampler happening um, in two days. I'll get into that in a minute, but look at that sweet little scissor charm and the button, the so red R. And then lastly, the first day of Christmas. So again, you can get these in a variety of different formats. Please focus. There you go. It's the first day of Christmas. It's a little bit hard to show sitting in front of a window, but it's the first day of Christmas pattern in there with the sweetest little bird and red button. I die over this. It is so cute. I love it so much. LaDonna did an amazing job. They are all available in her shop right now. I will link it below. If you're participating in either one of those sales, you might want to get one of those to put your floss on. I cannot wait. I've been um, hoarding this, keeping it on the car because I knew I wanted to show you. I can't wait to get my uh, thread keep off the cart and fill it with the threads for the first day of Christmas number two, which is coming soon. Okay. Take a breath, Liz. So I think that's what I wanted to go over in regards to my new releases, the giveaway, which is open until Friday, by the way, you can still enter. Those were the product details that I wanted to share in this video too. You can win them in the giveaway. So pop back one video linked below, enter please. And let's go on to talk about the sales that are happening right now, just because I touched on it briefly. There is the um, Days of Christmas sale, which I am hosting. There's a Facebook group for it where lots of questions get asked and answered. Um, you can also use the same hashtag for either Facebook or Instagram. It's hashtag hello Christmas days sale. I am beginning to design the next the second day of Christmas piece. 
And if you happen to watch the reveal video I did with my mom, at the end she spilled the beans on something. I had previously said that moving forward, you know, the second, third, fourth, fifth, all the days of Christmas would only be in sampler form because I was concerned about being able to fit everything in this small section. Um, and then you guys had the genius idea. It didn't even occur to me that instead of having like 12 drummers, there would be a drummer. Like it doesn't have to be 12. It can be just a single representation of that day. So with that like <laughs> knowledge uh, and talking to mom, I have decided that all 12 days of Christmas will also have a tree. So oof, I've committed now. You will have both a sampler and tree for the 12 days moving forward. I have my work cut out for me. You can expect the second day of Christmas soon. Follow that um, hashtag and better yet, if you're on Facebook, join the Facebook group, Hello Christmas Days Sal. That's what the group is named to get up to date information. Um, and sneak peeks and all of those kinds of things. One question that has been asked recently that I will go ahead and cover now is if the like color palette will be the same um, for all 12 days. And that kind of brought up a good point. I have decided that I will be using the same color threads throughout. Now there's only what, three or four colors here. So you can expect blues and you know, all the other colors to enter into the the Christmas days pieces in the future. But what I mean is like for golds, I will pull these same threads to use as golds in the future so that your investment in threads, if you do choose to do needle, needle point silk, as I did for this piece, is limited. I'm not trying to have you break the bank to do my 12 pieces. So I will continue to use the same thread colors throughout as long as I can you know not at the ex not at the detriment of my design but whenever I can it will be the same threads so that the tone rem remains the same and there's consistency throughout the 12 days I think that's all I wanted to say about that guy um, and yeah look for the second day of Christmas coming not in July <laughs> it's not going to be in July but soon and then my friend Shannon is hosting a Sal for the Red R Sampler. This was a May release. This was so much fun to stitch. You guys watched me the whole way through because this was a reproduction sampler that I showed you the original of and you watched me as I worked my way through it. And it was, it was a blast. So Shannon is hosting the Hello Red R Sal Stitch Along. You can follow that on Instagram. It kicks off on the 19th, June 19th. Shannon does have a dedicated video going over that. I will link it in the description box if you want to watch that and join the style. Like I said in my last video, lots of you are planning on stitching this, I know, so you might as well stitch it with some, I said girlfriends, but I should have said with some friends. So use that hashtag, stitch alongside some buddies and enjoy every stitch, please. In addition to that, I found out an, about another stitch along that was being hosted by Michelle of Handmade, made by Michelle McGraw. I will get that right. That's her Instagram handle. Michelle McGraw is hosting a Yonder Sal alongside of Janet of Janet Jabber, who I will also link. Let me just pull this out instead of fighting that glare. The hashtag they are using is Yonder Style. And if you have looked at this piece and wanted to stitch it, now is a great time to do that. Love. <laughs> is, it, is it bad if every one of my designs I hold up, I'm like, I love this, but I do. I just love that North, South, East, West. Oh, there's just something about it. So I thank you ladies so much for hosting this style. I hope you are loving it and if this has been on your stitch list now's a good time to join that style and stitch along those alongside those fabulous ladies and i think that takes care of all the hello from liz matthews styles happening i am just so honored that you guys choose to post these styles to stitch my pieces and to share with friends along the way thank you thank you thank you 
All right, I've got, let's do stitching because I do have some notes, but you guys are here for the stitching, right? Before I get into that though, I do have to tell you about one piece of happy mail I received. It is my um, color and cotton fabric of the month and it is in the colorway. Let's see here. It is in the colorway Swiss coffee. I get 40 count Newcastle linen in a fat eighth. Why I just signed up for an a fat aid I don't know because everything that they have ever sent me has whoop, I just poked myself has been beautiful and delicious and here it is this is Swiss coffee by color and cotton this is a color I confirmed with Angela this weekend that this is a color that will be added to the permanent line very shortly she launches new colors through her fabric of the month club and then once they have been like soft launched through club members, they become part of the permanent line. So this piece will be available soon um, for you to purchase. It is so, so, so pretty. I love the neutralness of it. You guys know um, I'm always looking for something that doesn't skew like pink or blue or anything in this. It's just it's showing up really well on my screen right now. I hope when I look at this later, it shows up as well. So that was a bit of happy mail. I get the fabric of the month once a month. I do believe that her club is temporarily on hold, uh, membership I should say, is on hold because you know all of the linen dyers are having a little bit of a problem with the backup of foundation fabric. So. I will let you know when that reopens because it's definitely something you should consider and look into if you love fabric as much as I do. So again, this is Swiss Coffee by Color and Cotton. So you ready to see what I've been stitching? This is a piece that will be out in July. I know, I know. there is nothing like cutting it close, right? It's just the way I work. Um, so yeah, I'm still stitching for a July release. Maybe one day I'll be ahead of the game a little more. I thought I was, but then I wanted to just throw this one in because I love it so much. It is a reproduction. However, I'm not showing you what, I'm not showing you the original piece. Check it out as I go. Something, sorry, uh, an alert that was like maximum video size reached. And it's still recording, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> um, I'm not going to show you the original. I'm just going to share my progress with you as I go, and then you can kind of see it come together. But this, oof, arm workout time, is what I have been stitching on. Um, it's been a really fun stitch. These are NPIs. They're colors that I showed you in a video a couple weeks ago there is that i have let's see um it is the same motif in all four quarters so i've kind of been working through it at the same time like at the same time i do you know section a over here i do it here here and here so i do it four times over uh, i I find that it's working quick and well for me. I am excited for you to see this all come together um, and I hope you like the surprise aspect of it. It's been really, really fun. It's done in kind of the same kind of stitching as the motifs in the red R, which took some getting used to, I'll be honest. They're very time consuming, but very, very enjoyable. And I found that when I was done with the Red R Sampler, I kind of missed doing this kind of stitching. So I'm happy to have it back in my life. And it's fun to see it come together in like four very different areas all at once. So that has been my stitching this, I think I started this maybe, oh, like four days ago, three days ago. I am suspecting this piece will take me two weeks to finish 
I will show you every step of the way. I might post on Instagram, but this is Needlepoint Silk on 40 count linen. I find that using one thread of Needlepoint Silk over two threads of 40 count linen really helps me keep very nice and clean and even cross stitches, more so than when I'm stitching on 36 count with two strands. It just, everything kind of like, just falls in place very perfectly and I really, really like it. So I think, I think that I found my dream combination. Doesn't mean I will always stick with it, but I am really, really liking it. So that is what I have been working on and it leads me to another kind of find for you. Oh, here's the color palette if you are interested. Again, it's one of um, the groupings of Needlepoint Silk that I shared a couple floss tubes ago as part of my haul. But for this pattern, let me see here. I don't wanna to show too much. This pattern, as you can imagine, is a little bit intense because you just saw the stitching. So for the first time ever, I have been highlighting and it is a game changer for my like, ah, for my sanity when I'm stitching. I don't actually use highlighters. I found these pens. I love these pens. They're called Le Pen, L-E-P-E-N. Um, and I got them just for like um, journaling and I mean, I love pens. I love pens and notebooks. So I had these on hand, but they are very fine tip, um, Mark. It's basically a marker. I wouldn't call it a pen because it's, what do you call it? Like a felt tip. It has a very fine felt tip, but it's been fantastic for just coloring all the little details that I need to stitch. You can get these on Amazon. They come in basically every color you can imagine and they have been great. So if you are interested, go check those out. All right, that's that. Let me um, just check my notes real quick. I did want to give a couple shout outs in the floss tube world. Um, Emily C from Eclectic Possessions works as an advocate for children and she is doing a duck derby right now. It's another great cause to contribute and donate to. She's earning, uh, not earning, she is selling rubber duckies. You can buy rubber duckies to help support her cause. And if she reaches, well, she said at the beginning of her duck derby that if she reached 1000 ducks sold, she would get a rubber ducky tattoo. Well, she has done that a long time ago. So they have just kept upping the ante and Michelle from Farm Girl um, has said if Emily reaches 5,000 ducks donated, she will also be getting her first tattoo and it will be a rubber ducky. So I didn't check, I should have before I started filming to see exactly where they are. But if you want to support a really, really good cause and a person doing a job that I don't think all of us could do, I certainly couldn't, then go give Emily C a follow and donate to her duck derby. In addition to that shout out, I also want to say hi to my friend Shiloh. Um, oh shoot. X Stitch MD on Instagram and also on FlossTube. She has a FlossTube channel as well. She, I will link her below. She has like lightning needle girl stitches so fast and I love everything she chooses. So I just wanted to say hi and ask you to go give her a view, a follow, a wave, a smile, a hi, spread some joy her way. She's really, really fun to follow and I love everything that she chooses to stitch. I also want to point out that Christy from Crosshatch Quilt, Quilts, Quilter, Crosshatch Quilter, as everyone else is, I am linking them in, linking her in the box below, did a dedicated video on stitching in hand. Speaking of lightning needles that Shiloh has, Christy also like stitches so fast. It is 
crazy how much stitching she pumps out and it is because she stitches in hand as do I. So Christy was kind enough to make a video kind of going over how she stitches in hand and if you have been thinking about giving that a try or wondering how we do it, go check that video out. There's a lot of good tips and it might be some nice variety for you to to switch things up if you are a Q-snap stitcher or a hoop stitcher or just been interested in how we do that. I, I really find that stitching in hand flows and goes really quickly, so maybe go give that video a watch. And then, sorry, I just wanna make sure I don't forget anything this time. I feel like I'm always forgetting something. Oh, the most random thing. Um, I've talked about it in my videos before. You guys know I have been gardening and loving my little backyard patio setup and been planting plants and all that stuff. Well, we have a little chipmunk and squirrel friend population in our backyard. We love them. We love watching them. We've named them all. It, it's all good. Except for the one morning I went out there and the chipmunk had eaten all of my lettuce off right down to the dirt. So I did a little research and I have a tip for you if that's something that you struggled with as well. The answer, at least in my garden, is a sprinkle of cinnamon. Just a little sprinkle on the dirt. They have stayed away like it's been a dream. I didn't, you know, I don't want to do anything dramatic to keep these sweet animals away. But I also like my lettuce and my flowers they didn't eat any of my flowers. I like my lettuces, which we no longer have. So um, I found that the squirrels just like to dig. I think they're hiding nuts in the dirt. That's what I think is happening. So just a sprinkle of cinnamon, they stay away. So I just wanted to share that little, um, little tip with you if it's something you're experiencing too. How random is that? I told you. Um, all right, let's see. I got some of the sweetest happy mail last week and I have been waiting to show you. You guys have probably heard uh, Socks for Mom, Becky. She sent me two of these adorable, so sweet thread keeps. A total surprise. I had no idea they were coming and she did them with the first day of Christmas theme in mind. I love this antique brass ring. Let me get out of the way here. So you can see this is kind of like an ephemera look over a pear because of the first day of Christmas is partridge in a pear tree. I love that Becky. And then the back has a little tree. And then of course it's a partridge. So socks for mom is on Instagram. You can find her there. How sweet is that? I just love these. Did you see that? That's a little tree back there too. Becky, you are so kind to send these to me and I love your card. It is so beautiful. And I appreciate you taking the time to make these, to create them, to share them with me. Um, and I'm happy to share them with all of you now. They're so beautiful. Um, and like I said, you can find Be uh, Becky on Instagram. She is socks for mom. And she does beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you, Becky. And then to close out this video, I do not have a traditional history of needlework segment for you. <laughs> I swear, last the last floss tube I did where I tried to share the history, I just feel like I went downhill so quickly. And then I watched it back and I was like, you weren't as bad as you thought, Liz. But in my head, I just start like going downhill and there's just no recovery at that point. So. More of that is coming, but I honestly haven't had time to do the research and get all of my facts straight to share with you more of the history. So in lieu of that, I do have a new, a different kind of person, the history of needlework. I was finally able to antique with my mom on Sunday and it was amazing. It was so amazing. And while we were out, I was looking for props for my photos, you know, for the front of charts or just my Instagram. And I just find myself drawn to historic needlework pieces. So I just wanted to show you the things I picked up that relate to needlework. 
it is still the history of needlework, just kind of a different take on it. And I wanted to show you what I found. You'll probably see them pop up in images, but for now, let me just run through them real quick if you're interested. If not, I will catch you in my next floss tube. Thanks for spending time with me, um, and I hope you are well. So I got, look at this little pack of needles. How cute is that? Just the labeling alone. And then I opened it, and there's no less than like, 20 needles shoved in there someone did not want to lose their needles but i love love that marketing and branding here's a little home companion needle assortment needle book look at that and then you open it up and it's like those little packs separated i love the graphics when do you think this came out i don't know it says made in occupied japan interesting little needle book then i found a couple of these look at these thread like what would you call these thread cards they're cardboard with these bright bold colors printed like little spools i also found this thread card how pretty is that palette this is republic made in the usa eight skeins 15 yards each look at that i just i that palette Ooh, that is so pretty that's inspiring to me love 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 that um i got a couple one of this is from just like a bulk lot i got it's a measuring tape then i also got a fabric measuring tape you know as they would have been sewn together on one side I love this and I think it will be perfect in some of my pictures. So I got that. This little needle situation was also included in one of the lots. Doesn't look quite as old as some of the other pieces, but still interesting. And then this was my very favorite find. It came in a pack of, this says sample sample packet it is needles again i love those graphics and then this I honestly i haven't fully looked through this this is just like a little paper envelope not in the best condition but works for me and then oh my gosh i wonder if this was inside I didn't open this up and look at it. Check this out. How cool is that? I feel like I want to frame this and put it on my wall. Retail value $1. Crowley's Premium Needle Book. Save the wrappers. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to do more research on this, but this is the back side of it. Oh, I love it. I'm happy we went through this together. Um, that is so cool. Okay, that came with this. More research, maybe some more answers to come. But there's just a brief history of needlework products that you can find antiquing in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for letting me share those finds with you and thank you again for spending a bit of time with me today. I'm, I always look forward to spending, to doing these videos and spending time with you and then reading through the comments and getting to know you more and just sharing my love of needlework. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you get lots of stitching time in. I will find, I will be back and chat with you again soon.